Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at Fusion Dock Pro One Plus. This was sent over by the people at Ivanki and I really appreciate that because if you know you follow my channel I got a new MacBook Pro M4 and I've been setting up a desktop setup and I I need a dock. I need I have lots of things to plug in and this looks like it's going to get the job done. It's designed for Mac OS. It has a 100 watt power delivery supply. And there it is, first look. So this is the front. We have an on off button, a power, a headphone jack, micro SD card slot, SD card slot, two 10 gigabit USB A's, a 10 gigabit USB C, and we have a USB C with power delivery. On one end, we have a USB C input from the laptop icon there to show you and on this end if I can get a focus we have the Kensington lock and on the back side on the back side we have three HDMI's in 4k 4k and 4k we have USB 10 gigabits USB a two of those we have a Ethernet port here 2.5 gigabit and we have the voltage in DC volts in 20 volts for the power supply nice looking housing got the brush look on top the case feels to be aluminum and the uh, top and the bottom seem to be plastic. Very um, substantial weight to it. And we will be plugging it in and hooking it up. I have lots of stuff to plug in. We're going to check that out later. And there you have it. Nice looking dock with multiple ports. And what else comes inside the box? Let's get a look. Oh, we got a nice owner's manual. User's manual looks very detailed. We got a quick start manual. Please read this before use. And under here we have the charging brick and cables and that is a monster of a charging brick and it is massive very premium okay with the long cable and the power cord and what's in the bag here should be the USB-C cable C to C heavy duty output 20 volts 9 amps at 180 watts and it's got all the ratings nice long cord here and here is the power cord that goes with it so the goal of the dock is to free up some of these ports going into my laptop the whole goal is to get one cable to uh, plug in and hook it up because I'm using the, all the ports on one side except for the HDMI and I'm also using going I'm also going in on the other port so the dock is to get rid of all that clutter very uh, pleasant to get rid of all those cables going into all these ports So here's a final look at the Avanki dock. We have four hard drives over here. They're both in RAID arrays. So there's like eight terabytes, eight terabytes. Over here we have a two terabyte. We have sound audio coming in here. So the two hard drives are going to USB-C and the two other ones are going in USB-C. Now we have an 8K TV hooked in the back here and we have the 49 inch ultra wide plugged in here. And we also have the ethernet plugged in here. So that's about as neat as I can get it. All in all, there's an awful lot of things plugged in. Now here we have the USB-C line that's come. There's single, single cable will feed the laptop. Pretty pleased with the overall connection of everything here. And I have already checked the um, audio, two hard drives, SSD hard drive, two hard drives, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, Ethernet, and power. Okay, so here's the 18 gigabyte file. And we're going to drag it to the screen. And here we go. Less than a minute. So we're doing 18 gigs off the SSD, the Samsung T7 SSD. It's going to be less than a minute. Hope you guys can see that right there. And we copy that to the MacBook Pro. Okay. And now we're going to try that in reverse to the same drive. Because here it is way over here. I know it's a long ways away on this wide screen. Let's see. Replace. So it says less than a minute. We're going to do 18 gigs in less than a minute. So that SSD is going through the 10 gigabit dock. And I think that is, that is pretty fast. 18 gigs in less than a minute. Other work drive at eight terabytes. So all in all, this dock has really got me connected to my old work and it's got me connected to my new work and it works really fast. A couple minutes is a lot faster than six over Wi-Fi. Wanna do a speed test? Let's do a speed test. Let me open up speed test. Okay, we are gonna open up 
set the target drive to the T7. T7 is going through the dock. Here we go. And boom. So the T7 lost no speed. That's how fast the T7 was directly going into the hard drive, directly going into the MacBook Pro. So the T7 actually lost no speed going through the dock. It's as fast as it was before it was going through the dock. I'm really impressed with One that. final look with the M4 MacBook Pro, M4 Pro plugged into the dock. So this is a single cable going into the dock with all the hard drives, with all the connections, with the SSD drive, the HDMI is out, which is two monitors out. And this is how it looks from the front. So we got the MacBook Pro over here, the M4 Pro, and it's got a single wire going in for everything except for my Thunderbolt 4 dock. And we are running this 49 inch monitor, albeit at a lower resolution resolution than it than it comes with and we are also running this 8k television at a lower resolution it's lower than 8k but it's a little bit under 4k but it looks beautiful the picture just looks absolutely gorgeous i think maybe the max dock would keep everything at its highest resolution under the um, thunderbolt 4 port so this one doesn't have thunderbolt 4 it's only got 10 gigabits a second but you can see the monitors look beautiful and you can see how uncluttered my desk is